open it up for questions because we got about five minutes. So what are you seeing from Gavin Bartholomew as a sophomore kind of leading the group for the tight ends this year? Um, you know, Gavin won the Cornhole Championship last night. So I saw, you know, you know kick, the, kick the heck out of uh, Matt Altsford and Nick Patty, uh, him and Dylan Bennett. So he had a heck of a Cornhole game last night uh, in front of the team in the team room. Um, but on the field, he's done a great job. I mean, Gavin's a, he's a football player. Um, you know, he's playing a lot of different positions. You know, he's go, you know, playing out wide. He can play the tight end on the line of scrimmage. He's a move guy. He does a little bit of everything. So um, he's gotten better. He's better than he was in the spring. Uh, he's improved his run blocking a lot. And uh, he's leading that tight end room right now. Do you see him as more of a pass first tight end, though, or more of a, an even mix? Even mix, I hope. I mean, if you have a tight end that's a pass, you know, pass first, you know, you got a little bit of an issue. Um, he better be, better be interested in the run. Pat, how do you feel about the options behind him and some of the depth you have there? Yeah, great question. I mean, going into it, um, you know, um, you didn't know what you were really going to have, but, you know, Kai Wright didn't play in the spring. Kai Wright's had a heck of a camp so far. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I know Coach uh, Signetti is as well because we didn't, he didn't know. I kind of knew what we had, but, you know, you could tell, hey, I think he's pretty good, but you just don't know as a coach, or, you know, uh, you have faith that he's good, but you just don't know. But now he knows uh, that, you know, Kai's going to help us a lot. And then Carter Johnson, as we've talked, here, I think the last few days um, of camp, I mean, he Carter Johnson been a football player since he got here. So you got three viable ones there. You know, Dylan Devini De De uh, is still um, uh, working on uh, just getting 100% healthy uh, from his previous issue. And, and we'll get him back, but he's a big son of a gun that, you know, uh, I'll, I'll let him get with you guys once he steps on the field. Pat, uh, you're, all your starting offensive linemen are 23 years old or older. How important is that to have adults on your, on your offensive line rather than just kids? Yeah, well, it's always, you know, I think, you know, when you have fifth year, six year seniors, I mean, um, it's it's tremendous. I mean, I always think, you know, to young know, freshmen always want to play as freshmen. I'm like, are you going to be better when you're 18 or when you're 22 or 23? And we all know the answer. I mean, we're all smarter when we're 23 uh, as opposed to when we're 18. So they're definitely better football players. So, um, you know, having maturity up there or anywhere on your football team is, is certainly a uh, thing you want to have. Uh, with tomorrow's scrimmage, you've stressed how important it is. What are you hoping to see from your team tomorrow? Yeah, you know, number one thing is, you know, anytime you go live, you're, you want to come out of there healthy. You know, I say my prayers on the way, way in from the hotel in the morning, and and, um, and, and and just pray that you do that. And then I want to see a Chris scrimmage. You know, I don't care who wins offense, defense, and we'll, you know, have some fun and play for the points and all those things. Uh, but it comes down to, you know, I want to see the ball turn over, but I want to see our defense get turnovers, you know. But I want to make sure we protect it. So, I mean, you're looking at turnovers. And I want to see a crisp scrimmage, you know. Uh, I don't want to see a lot of unforced errors. Um, so, I'm just looking for a crisp scrimmage. How's the progress of the kickers and punters this game? You know, we got, you know, uh, punters have been good. Uh, Sam's doing a nice job, you know, putting in a, That's what he gets. That's what he gets. Um, running out all off here. So, uh, um, but uh, kickers and punters. <laughs> um, it's been a long kick. It's been short so far. It's just the beginning. Uh, but uh, when you look at, um, uh, still thinking about those idiots over there. <laughs> um, but uh, really, when you look at Ben Sauls and Sam Scarter are having a battle. I mean, they're both kicking really well. Um, and I tell you another th thing. Um, Caleb Junko is kicking really good. Uh, he's got a coach in the offseason. He's got played soccer in high school. I mean, I, I, I would bet, I'll put my money on this, that we have the three best kickers in the country. I really feel that way. Uh, Caleb Junko, I mean, he'll hit it from 55. He was inaccurate in the spring, and now I, I think he's 100%, you know, and he's had few kicks. So he's playing well. Sam's playing. I mean, they're all, they're all doing well. So it's going to be a battle, and, and uh, we'll continue to, uh, to measure that. I think I noticed the last couple of days, Brandon Hill not practicing in pads. you have any updates on his status or what he's dealing with? Nope. Nick Patty told us. Now you're supposed to ask that question out here. <laughs> Nick Patty still told no us. No one needed to really know that, but now they all know that. Thanks to you. Okay. Nick Patty told us that he thinks of himself as kind of a better runner maybe than Keaton in, in that battle. So how important is a day like Saturday where you can go live and maybe show that off? A yeah, bit? well, quarterbacks won't be hit, so he really won't be able to show that. Um, you know, on a live scrimmage. I mean, they're live every day as far as running with the ball. They can run with it anytime they want. Um, so really, you know, we'll stay off the red jersey, so they, you really won't be able to find that out. A lot of attention on the D-line goes to Haba and Kalaja. What about John and uh, Dayon? what they're able to do to kind of free up and let those two kind of run wild? You know, Dayon has had a good uh, good camp, and John Morgan's been outstanding. It really is. I mean, there's, a f there's four guys there. 
Um, and you need four. You want to keep it fresh, um, you know, and get those guys um, playing fast, and they play fast. And we got four starters, in my opinion. Time should I get there tomorrow? <laughs> Whatever time you want to get there. You sneak into Acura.